It's always nice to see what some little tweaks can do to a classic guitar like the Martin Triple O 28. We've got a custom artist edition in the studio today. I'm gonna tell you all about it. Stick around. How's it going guys? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, what you doing? You gotta subscribe, turn your notifications on, like the videos, comment on them, and check out the podcast in the description below. It's called the Fretboard Confessional. It's a good time. So like I said, I got a custom artist model here in the studio today. This is a Martin Triple O 28 Brooke Lidgertwood uh, special edition. All right, and the thing is I spent all morning trying to find out how you pronounce her last name. Some of you may know of her. I thought it was gonna be Ligert Wood, I've seen it in print many times, and then obviously she is in her genre, such a massive star that many people just call her Brooke. And they say, hey, we got Brooke here in the studio. There's not a ton of people saying her last name in these interviews, so I had to dig. I believe it's Lidgert Wood. Uh, maybe the T is silent, I read that somewhere. Either way, Brooke is the worship leader of Hillsong Church. She's from New Zealand, and uh, she's got herself a very nice Martin custom artist model, Triple O 28. Now these got introduced a few months back. I believe it was around NAM time. And uh, you know, I love a Triple O 28, I love an OM 28, pretty much any, you know, orchestra size guitar from Martin and beyond will be a winner in my book. But Triple O 28 is kind of the tried and true. It's probably the one that people want the most in our store when it comes to Martin standard models. So it's nice to see, like I said at the outset, what some little tweaks can do as opposed to, you know, a standard um, spec Triple O 28. This has a couple little changes, and I believe when she was designing the guitar, she took some, uh, took some cues from a few other signature models, the Paul Simon and the Eric Clapton, which are fantastic guitars in their own right. I like that she kept it real standard. There is a, um, this is the natural top with a little aging toner. There's a sunburst as well, but for the most part, it's the same scale length as Triple O 28. All that stuff's gonna be the same. The big difference is this is a uh, 111 16 inch nut width, and it's got a modified V neck, which we've been talking about them a lot recently. Coincidentally, there's a lot of Vs coming into the store. Um, I like a V. It's a little uh, unorthodox now, given that everybody wants that modified low oval. But the, uh, the V feels really nice in here. It's very soft, it's modified, it's, uh, it's not a super hardcore V. I'm pretty sure the V comes from that Eric Clapton model. I could be totally wrong, but um, really good feel. Really nice, especially with the slightly narrower nut. I know a lot of players are gonna really enjoy that. And otherwise, I mean, you take a look at it. The top is pretty exquisite. I love the toner that they use on there. It's got flame maple binding. It might look like antique white to y'all, but up close, it is, um, you know, it's a nice European flame maple. Got the Style 28 back strip. You can see a little, little dust on there because it's fresh nitro. I just took it out of the case for the first time, so it's still getting used to what's going on. Um, I love the long diamonds and squares inlay. I did the short on our Martin Custom Shop, but the long is very nice too. You know, as we know, 28, it's gonna be spruce and rosewood, so there's East Indian rosewood back and sides. And then the two big identifying factors besides those little tweaks in the uh, neck is gonna be the wreath inlay under the, the logo and uh, Brooks signature, which is down here, I believe on the 20th fret. And then in the label inside, you got Triple O 28, Brooke Lidgert Wood Custom Artist Edition. This is number 163 and it's got her uh, signature in there as well. Now, Probably given Chris McKee, my partner in crime's history of being a worship leader himself, he would be a little more informed to tell us a little bit about her history, about Hillsong, about the entire worship music scene, because I know she is a giant of that scene. Uh, myself, not being as in tune with the genre, I cannot speak to her or, I mean, I've listened to her music because I knew we were getting this, did my research beautiful stuff. She's a very talented writer, singer, performer, player. Um, but I think the beauty of getting to review a guitar without the added knowledge or background of knowing a ton about the music is I can very unbiasedly judge the instrument without the extra story, 
That's why when we do, you know, the Kingfish guitar, which came out recently, we're both huge fans of it. We love the guitar, but it's hard to separate, you know, because we love the guy. Obviously love the guitar. I'm a big fan of Triple O 28s. I don't think this could disappoint me in any way, but since I don't know a ton about her and her music, I get to judge the instrument just based off the changes that she made. I'll do some demos for you, a little flat picking, a little finger picking, and I'll tell you my thoughts on the other end. Let's do it. There you have it. There's a little bit on the Triple O 28 Brook Lidget Wood. Um, it's a fantastic guitar. It's hard to beat a Triple O 28. And the little tweaks that she has made on the model, um, they feel comfortable. They don't totally throw me off as opposed to a normal Triple O 28. Um, you know, one three quarter is standard. The one eleven sixteenths. It's such a minor change, and I think a lot of people get hung up on. Oh, I need that three quarter. I need the eleven sixteenth. Some people, some players are sticklers about that it doesn't change my you know feelings about the guitar that much but it does feel like a very comfortable neck i like the modified uh v really nice feel like i said earlier i dig the v and uh for me recently i got to do the custom shop if you've seen the video if you haven't seen the video i did a om28 um it was three quarter inch and the biggest thing for me between an om28 and Triple O 28 that I appreciate on the OM is a small teardrop pick guard. This has got the larger uh, Triple O pick guard, but something about the look, the, uh, the rosette, the aging toner, the maple binding, it fits that big pick guard. It does give me a little flashback and a little bit of that Eric Clapton vibe. And um, I'm also not like the world's biggest Eric Clapton fan, but that's a fantastic guitar. There's something kind of inspiring about taking a very standard, very classic, tried and true, you know, over 100 year old model and uh, making it your own and doing a couple little changes, but still preserving the legacy of the classic. And I really think that's what Brooke has done here. 
It's a beautiful guitar, and I know that they're not super easy to get a hold of. Um, I would have loved to have the Sunburst and the Natural get to play them both for you. I believe this is the only one that we're going to get, is the, this Natural right here, number 163. So if you dig it, um, I'm assuming that the owner of this guitar is going to be a big fan of Brooke herself. But there is also a side possibility that you are a player out there that really wants a Triple O 28. You would like it to have some European flame maple binding and a slightly narrower nut width, a different neck profile, maybe a V, and uh, just some very taste small, small, you know, insignia to, you know, show that it's Brooks guitar. But I think anybody that's a Martin fan would fall in love with this guitar. So highly recommend if you're in the area, come in and play it. If you're looking for a Triple O 28, um, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions that you got. You can go on our website, read it spec by spec, get pricing information on there. And, uh, you know, if you're into it, act fast because this is probably going to be the only one that we've got. So thank you all very much for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments. Are you a 1 in 11 16 player? 1 and 3 quarter? Do you think it makes a difference? Do you think the V makes a difference? Um, I'd love to start the conversation. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.